Have you ever wondered why ancient civilizations from the Far East to the Americas were oddly obsessed with mercury? The silvery sparkling liquid that is poisonous to the touch, yet attractive to look at. It is an interesting truth, isn't it? Mercury is poisonous, yet we still discover traces of it in the ruins of old buildings all around the world. Maybe our predecessors belonged to a covert organization that dealt in alchemy, or maybe they were just adventurous people seeking other universes. Who can say? One thing is for certain, though. They left us with an enticing puzzle to solve. So grab your detective hats and get ready to take a step back in time. We're going to go deeply into the historical riddles surrounding Mercury. Our initial destination. The first Chinese emperor who was buried in an underground metropolis where rivers of mercury stood in for rivers of water. Let's dive into the mercury mysteries of the past, starting with the first Chinese emperor and his mercury-filled city. Picture this, a grand underground city complete with rivers and seas, but the water isn't water at all. It's mercury. Yes, you heard it right. Mercury, that silvery liquid metal that's as lethal as it is mesmerizing. This was the vision of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. His subterranean empire was an exquisitely constructed recreation of his imperial domain, with the Mercury rivers standing in for China's vast waterways. Known for his obsession with immortality, the emperor ironically engaged in a deadly gamble. He believed Mercury held the secret to eternal life, consuming potions laced with it. Now that's what's referred to as a toxic diet. The irony is as thick as Mercury itself seeking eternal life with a substance that could cut life short. But as we marvel at the Emperor's grandiose and deadly vision, we find that he was not alone in his fascination with this liquid metal. From the Far East, let's travel across the Pacific to the ancient Mayan civilization. Buried beneath ancient Mayan cities, we find, you guessed it, more mercury. Now, you may ask, what on earth were the Mayans doing with such vast quantities of this shimmering silver liquid? We have some answers, the rest is still shrouded in mystery. Recent archaeological findings have unearthed large mercury deposits hidden beneath the Grand Mayan pyramids. Some scholars speculate that this mercury might have been used for ritualistic purposes, decoration, or as a symbol of status and power. But let's not forget the most intriguing theory. The Mayans were believed to be advanced astronomers. Could they have used mercury to create a sort of ancient illumination display? Imagine it a celestial light show reflecting off mercury-filled pools under the moonlight. However, let's keep in mind that these are only theories before we get too attached to the partying Mayans. The truth is, we're still piecing together this fascinating puzzle. Now, let's take a leap from factual history to the realm of fascinating theories. What if I told you that mercury might have been the ancient key to other dimensions? That's a thought that will turn your head upside down, isn't it? It's just theories but there are those that propose the use of Mercury as an interdimensional portal, like a stargate, perhaps. Imagine this, Mayan priests and ancient emperors poised to enter a different realm as they stand on the brink of a shimmering Mercury pool. Isn't that a seductive picture? But keep in mind that this is only conjecture, not established archeological knowledge. The unusual concentration of Mercury in these ancient sites and ancient texts, cited by theorists, serve as evidence but until we discover a time machine or a convenient interdimensional portal, we will never be able to know for sure. Thus, we are left with a riddle as pliable and evasive as Mercury. While we may never know the full extent of Mercury's role in ancient civilizations, it's clear that this toxic substance held a strange allure for our ancestors.